Uh, just give our global audience uh, an update on how strong the recovery has been, what kind of numbers you're seeing uh, at some of your properties at the moment. Thank you. Good morning. Um, we can see the light, you not know, the end of the tunnel, but the light, you know, covering all the tunnel and beyond the tunnel. I mean, in all our sectors, there's a huge improvement, huge improvement. If we take it to the hospitality, car business, car leasing, education, all of this insurance, we are doing very, very well. I mean, even in the last two years, it was hectic, and a lot of companies in the world bankrupt and closed, but we here in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates I think we learned a lot to manage as a, a, a crisis management, and we did a great job. Not only us as Al Habtur, but most of the companies based in the in this country. I mean, we we were not expecting. So if I can, what we are achieving now, yeah, it, we are achieving if great. I, if I can, if Please. I can follow up on that, then are you are you expecting to double, triple your revenues? Do you have any? Uh, quantitative idea of, of how much growth you're going to see in the you know, end of this year into 2022? In, in, in 22, we, we are considering we will go about over 40%, 45% to our uh, last year, which is 21. 21, we achieved about 30, 37% if you compare 2019, 2000, combined 2020 which we really, I mean, of course, it is not easy, but with our experience and uh, controlling, cost control and et cetera, we achieve gr a great result. Not only us, but a lot of people, but, you know, because we are vice, uh, diversified uh, business, uh, I think all our unit is doing very well. I mean, over the last uh, 10 years, we've uh, touched base on a regular basis and we've seen uh, the property cycles up and down over that time. And, and we've discussed sort of the individual challenges. I'm wondering, as we get into the new year, whether you think the property recovery specifically is built on a much more durable foundation than the past? Well, a property is not our line. A property is not our line or real estate, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I can see it uh, booming. I can see it uh, in the market uh, doing very, very well. And definitely the price is going to go up and up and up. And there will be huge demand and requirement by visitor who is doing, I mean, imagine that in Dubai, every day a new company coming, about 150, 180 company licensing. Imagine that. These people, what they are going, they want to buy apartment, they want to spend money, villas, cars, etc. Food, everything is doing very well. You know, I cannot, you know, uh, take one side, but in general, the retail, okay. land, everything. Yeah. Yes. You've indicated that you may list uh, on the Dubai Stock Exchange uh, a lot of reforms in the in the last uh, three or four weeks to to make the process of listing easier. I uh, mean, what exactly are you looking to list within the Al Habtour group, or would you list the umbrella company? And do you have a timeline? Um, let me uh, just brief you of something important. I mean, to convince family company to convert into VI, uh, IPO is not easy. And uh, our government or the authority of Dubai, I think they are uh, smoothing the way to facilitate for them what is all their requirement. I mean, really, we have to convince. I'm talking, you know, in general, a lot about my company and family, big company, family company, that we have to convince them to go IPO because for the continuation, and there will be no, I mean, tomorrow of, of the head of the company, uh, this, uh, you know, left or died or something like that, the company stay, continue with it if it is a public company. Therefore, you know, the government here is doing roadmap, softening thing to encourage, to encourage the IPO 
uh, the family company right. to go IPO. I mean, I'm talking about Dubai government, which really supporting everything for the family company and for everybody else. I mean, they are encouraging everybody, which is excellent. I that's mean, the way the, they are doing that's, it, that's nobody the, is undone. Yes, sir. That's, that's the groundwork then. Are you going to list, and you've, you've said you are going to list, but I'm just trying to understand, are you going to list in 2022? And are you going to list the umbrella company or specific, you know, subsidiaries, be it, you know, the car business or the hospitality business? Well, uh, definitely, you know, we were always preparing, making lots of scenarios since 12, 14 years now to go IPO. <laughs> this time, with the cooperation with the government, I think, yes, we are going to go IPO. Part of our company, either we will go <clears throat> as a group or we will take them individually, one by one. <clears throat> Just it depends in, uh, in our uh, management decision, which is headed by me. We will take decision sometime in three, four months. What's the biggest factor that do you think uh, has led you to change your mind? Because again, you know, I think of our interviews in the past and you know, an IPO was not a priority. What was the one thing that said, you know what, I'm in, I'm gonna do this? Well, uh, priority number one is the continuation. Continuation, because you find everywhere in the world, if there is a family company and tomorrow the, 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 the founder of the company, something happened to him or to her, then there'll be a fight and there will be an argument between the uh, sons and daughters, courts, etc. This is what everybody would like to avoid. And I am the first person that would like to avoid this and to make sure that everybody, this is a public company, and everybody is having his share in his hand and up yes. to them to stay or to go, the name will continue forever. Yeah. What this about your investments story. abroad, Khalif? Are you, are you adding? Are you holding on? Are you selling? Uh, I know you had quite a bit of exposure in Hungary uh, and in the UK as well. Just uh, give us a bit of an idea of, of where that is. Um, well, uh, we, we have uh, good, good investment overseas, which is doing very well for us. We are happy. And even during the pandemic, the, the governments there, each country government supporting us, and uh, we, of course, I mean, everybody is, uh, we, uh, everybody lost there, but you know, we minimize those lo losses, but we are doing well. Of course, we are looking for other projects in Central Europe, uh, Central, not only hotels, but other things, you know, like clubs, like, uh, like uh, office buildings. Uh, and in England also, we are negotiating some property in the Central of London. But, you know, I cannot say anything, you know, to sell, fish in the sea, unless it is in our hand. Yeah. What, what kind of uh, budget are you working with on your shopping spree for, for some of those properties? I, 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 it is in the region of, I mean, I can say that about uh, an excess of uh, 500 million uh, pounds. 